Johnny Depp's severed finger, alcohol and drugs, perversion and rape, Amber Heard's feces on the bed, fights and scandals. Sounds like a failed horror movie review, don't you think? But all this is a part of the relationship between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, the relationship of two Hollywood actors of the first magnitude. This couple used to look gorgeous on red carpets and movie premieres, but no one really knew what was happening between them in civil life. Absolute insanity, which the whole world eventually found out about. You are on the Before They Got Famous channel. Subscribe, because I will tell you Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's story of love and hatred. Their fate is indeed incredible. The story began more than 10 years ago, 2011, filming of The Rum Diary, starring the already iconic actor Johnny Depp and the young beauty Amber Heard. At that time, Johnny was happily married. He had a loving wife, Vanessa Paradis, and two children. The couple has been together for more than 13 years, and nothing indicated the end of that successful relationship. Amber was one of the most promising young stars of Hollywood, a long-legged blonde and a real beauty. She perfectly suited the role of a heartbreaker. However, she did not seem to use her spectacular appearance in this regard. Meeting uh, an actress like Amber Heard, meeting um, um, Lauren Bacall, or... On the contrary, Amber is a woman who has announced her relationship with another woman. And this was in 2011, when the same-sex marriage had not yet been legalized in California. This did not stop Amber, and she made her coming out publicly during the GLAD Celebrates 25 Years of LGBT Party, where she stated, I am who I am, and I don't want to hide it, because they hide what is shameful, and I am not ashamed that I am in love with a woman. That is, a married actor with two children and a girl who identified herself as a lesbian met on the same set. What could go wrong, you might think? And literally everything went wrong. On the set, Johnny fell wildly in love with a young beauty. Of course, according to the script, they were really hot scenes between the actors, and their very natural performance in those scenes, as well as the fact that they spent a lot of time together, all of which started rumors of an affair between the actor and the actress. On the promotional tours of the film, Johnny and Amber were getting closer and closer, were more and more loose together. There was a real feeling, and that's why the romance started to seem obvious. Later, the actor admitted that she drove him crazy with her beauty and intelligence. I couldn't stop thinking about her. I kept an eye on her and her schedule. We have many things in common, but the first thing that struck me was that she is a passionate fan of blues. I played some old blues song, and she recognized it. Fans' guesses were already confirmed in 2012. Just then, almost at the same time, Johnny Depp divorced his wife with whom, may I remind you, he had loved for 13 years, and Amber Heard broke up with her girlfriend. A few weeks later, the paparazzi already caught Depp and Heard together, and then a very interesting story began that should have alarmed Johnny. Yes, Amber Heard was literally pushing the actor to get married. She didn't just want a relationship, she wanted a marriage, and she was annoyed that Johnny was not in a hurry with this. So she began to push her boyfriend to take serious steps, or to put it simply, she began to manipulate him. A month later, Amber Heard said that she needed to figure herself out and that she didn't know what she wanted. But Depp was able to quickly win back the actress's favor. In the winter of 2013, the beauty brought up the pause in the relationship again, and this time she flew to pay a visit to a bisexual woman she knew. Such an interesting method of attracting attention worked this time as well. To win Amber's attention again, our Jack Sparrow named a beach after her on his personal island. On the same island, made an interpretation of the Rum Diary film set, where they met and, as a gesture of goodwill, he also gifted his beloved with millions of dollars worth of jewelry. But most importantly, this time, he finally promised to marry Amber, and soon kept his word. He's such a pleasure. He's such a pleasure to work with. He's, uh, he's even better than I could have imagined him to be, which is saying. In January 2014, the couple exchanged wedding rings and swore allegiance to each other to the grave. Ironically, all the time Amber was engaged, she tried to seem like the perfect bride. 
She can often be seen on set with Johnny. She visited her fiance, brought him gifts, showed care. Well, he still did not skimp on diamonds, gold, and other gifts. When the wedding took place, fans of the actor and actress thought that they would get a real golden couple for many years because they almost instantly became one of the most spectacular couples in Hollywood and their lives would really change. However, everything went in very different directions for everyone. After marrying Johnny Depp, Amber Heard suddenly began to receive many more offers for leading roles in high-budget Hollywood films, began to get to VIP social events and parties where she had no access before. She began to be invited to shoot in the most authoritative glossy magazines. Everyone wanted Johnny Depp's new passion on their cover. From the status of just a talented actress, Amber Heard grew very rapidly into a Hollywood superstar. Depp himself went the opposite way. More and more rumors began to appear that he returned to alcohol and drugs again. He began to gain extra weight, get into scandals more often. For example, Depp had a yacht named after his ex-wife, who gave him two children, yacht named Vanessa. And this yacht angered Amber Heard so much that Johnny Depp had to rename it in order to not run into another scandal, and then sold his precious vessel altogether. Rumors in the media became increasingly provocative and resembled rumors of the most toxic teenage relationship you can imagine. At the end of 2015, Amber suddenly remembered her bisexuality and renewed her relationship with an artist, Io Tillett Wright, who changed their gender. In addition, the actress dragged Depp's daughter into this company, and rumors began to circulate in the newspapers that she also decided to become bisexual, or even a lesbian. It must have been at this point that Johnny realized things were going wrong, because after the incident, his children stopped talking to Amber Heard, and the actor's young daughter made an excuse that she was misunderstood. After that, the actor and actress simply disappeared from the public, and what was happening between them in the winter of 2015-16 to 16 remains a mystery. Only one thing is known for sure, already in the spring, Amber Heard celebrated her birthday in the company of friends only and without Depp. And very soon she filed for divorce, demanding $50,000 in monthly alimony. Depp was saved from a larger sum by the fact that he did not agree to enter into a prenuptial agreement upon marriage, although Amber insisted on this very strongly. Well, it is still unclear what would be written in that contract. Maybe the actor could have protected himself with it. The relationship between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard was madness and passion. It was an addiction and hatred. It was love and a curse. They had the whole range of emotions, and it is very symbolic that their culmination was probably the loudest trial between Hollywood stars in recent years, maybe even decades, one of the most ambiguous scandals of the millennium. A scandal that revealed such details of the personal lives of Hollywood stars that even the most meticulous paparazzi did not suspect. Furthermore, a little later, Amber Heard suddenly declared that Johnny Depp was a tyrant who beat her, and she would call the police because of domestic violence. The police, however, did not find enough evidence to prove Johnny's guilt, but that was no longer important. The events took place at the top of the Me Too movement, and no one bothered to understand the situation with Depp. Amber Heard's accusations were enough for the actor to be simply cancelled, fired from all roles in future films that were to be released, and his name to be forgotten. Not for long, though. Amber was longing for more. She wrote a column in the Washington Post magazine where she called herself a symbol of violence against all women in the world. She said that her ex-husband beat her, morally humiliated her, and even raped her, that he partied with drugs and alcohol, that in an inadequate state, he turned into a monster. She did not name anybody, but she made it clear what she said about Johnny Depp, that Johnny Depp was her abuser. She refused alimony and demanded compensation from Johnny in the amount of $7 million. The sum was quite big, and the actress nobly declared that she would give all the money to a charity fund. This became a small point in Depp's rehabilitation because he immediately transferred this money to the fund himself and only sent Amber Heard a check for it. Seems to be fair, right? She wanted $7 million for the fund, she got it. What's with all the dissatisfaction? But the actress did not accept this gesture. 
she stated that she must first receive this money herself. He had to pay again. And it was at this moment that the first supporters began to turn away from Amber. It is important that Depp kept a clear line all the time. He did not try to apologize to everyone and disappear. He denied his guilt, even in the face of public pressure, and kept fighting. Johnny Depp began a long and arduous journey to clear his reputation. In 2018, he sued the Sun newspaper, where he was called a man who beat his wife. He lost the trial, but the message was clear. He would fight for his reputation. At the end of 2018, the actor disappeared from the screens and newspaper covers. There were rumors that he was broken and devastated and would not return. However, he did return, and the way he did that. At the Venice Film Festival, journalists simply did not recognize the Hollywood star. Thin, toned, in a great mood, and full of confidence, Depp rose as if reborn. The breakup of this relationship helped him a lot. And, again, he wasn't going to give up. He ended up suing Amber Heard herself, accused her of defamation, which cost his career $50 million, and demanded these funds from his ex. At first, such impudence outraged the society, but Johnny Depp was well prepared. He collected evidence that Amber raised her hand on him, that she herself engaged in moral abuse, that she, God forbid, went to the bathroom right on their bed, that she cheated on him in his own house, and much, much more. Everyone could watch this trial because it was broadcasted live. Everyone could also watch how with each new hearing, it became more and more obvious that in the Depp Heard pair, the victim could only be Johnny. New evidence was found. Remember we mentioned Heard calling the cops when Johnny Depp allegedly beat her up? So, from their chest cameras, it became clear that Amber was completely fine, as well as her home, where nothing was destroyed. It turned out that the actress simply lied. And even later, Depp proved that Amber did not transfer those $7 million of alimony to any charity. She simply spent it on herself. <laughs> what a nobility! Her fans began to renounce the actress. The studios began to cancel her this time, not Johnny. Quite a game changer, right? There were stories about Amber cutting off a piece of Johnny's finger when she threw a wine glass at him. Amber was found to have lied in a large number of her stories. A lot of dirt about feces, drugs, intoxication, rape, moral pressure, and many, many other things. Only Amber often openly lied, or had no evidence for her words. However, Depp had proof, and he spoke much less. On June 1st, 2022, the trial was completed. Depp definitely won it. The claim was satisfied. Of course, not for $50 million, but only for 15. Although out of all of Heard's counterclaims, only one was satisfied, for $2 million. Just so you understand, Amber Heard initially demanded $100 million. Immediately after the verdict, Amber announced that she would appeal. But those were mere words. All the cards were revealed. It is unlikely that there will be any hidden evidence. However, who knows? In 2018, Everyone still sympathized with Amber Heard and considered Johnny Depp to be a horrible monster who abused his wife. Now, in the eyes of most of society, Heard is the monster that she portrayed Depp as. Who knows what twist the situation will have in another four years? We are living in a very unpredictable time. But this story, unequivocally, has already shaken both Hollywood and the whole world. It went down in history and greatly shook the position of the so-called cancellation culture in world society. Historical bullshit. And what do you think about the fate and trial of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell. We in our turn promise you cool stories about stars. See you soon on Before They Got Famous.